So, in this first example, we know that in here, we see that there's a denominator, right? So we look at our restriction two, we know that my denominator cannot equal zero. Does everybody agree with me? Denominator cannot equal zero. So whatever, it doesn't matter, guys, I'm telling you, you're gonna see some crazy stuff in the denominator. It doesn't matter what your denominator is, you know you need whatever, you know whatever values of x cannot make that equal zero, correct? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write a simple expression, x, or a simple equation, x plus five cannot equal zero. But for what values of x, right? That's for any given x. So what x's make that equal to 0? Well, let's subtract 5. x cannot equal negative 5, which Emily, was, which Emily already said, right? Can't equal negative 5. So we're good with that. Now, let's go and think about this as far as writing this in set notation. Let's go ahead and write this. Um, let's write this on a normal line to see what this looks like. So if we're going to write a number line here, let's just say here's negative 5. All right, is negative 5 defined? Is it included or excluded? Excluded, right? So we should be using an open circle, correct? But what about every other number? What about, you know, 0, negative 10? Those are all good, right? So, you know, do, 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 do. OK. So, Oh, actually, I forgot to mention one last thing. When you guys are doing your set notation, um, I forgot to mention this. I'll, I'll put this down below. When you guys are doing your set notation, make sure that you put the first term is the smallest value. The second term is going to be the largest value. OK? So if this continues to go to left, right, it's never going to stop. So therefore, we know it's going all the way to negative infinity. And then if here, oops, I'm sorry. All right, so I'm sorry. Let's just do this left side here. So it's going from negative infinity, right? But then it gets all the way to, to negative 5, right? Correct? So we're going to say it's going to go from 2, negative 5. But then is negative 5 included? No. So that to the largest. All right, and negative infinity, that's never going to be included. Um, then let's do the right side of this. So the right side says negative 5, and then this is going to continue to infinity or continue to positive infinity. So you can write your domain as two separate domains, kind of like on the left and from there on the right. Or preferably what more commonly you're going to see is us using a union symbol to connect those two different domains. Okay, But just note how I'm using parentheses because nothing is included in this. All right, but it's saying negative infinity to negative 5, union, negative 5 to infinity. Okay, 